Howdy folks and welcome to episode 21 of Sky Factory 3. As you can see here, I have cleaned this up quite a bit. It's no longer stretching all the way out to here like it was. Um, and I've also changed how this thing works. Uh, currently, it does not automatically shoot uh, items in there. I have that turned off because I want to see what I'm getting. I have it set so that it only goes up to uh, legendary loot bags now. So it will combine all of these until I get legendaries and it'll throw those in. And I've gotten some interesting stuff so far. Uh, Manulin uh, ingots for one, Draconic ingots for another. I've also set this up so that now all of this is pumping straight into here which is phew, shooting over there, and it's all taken care of. It's all going right into the system. Uh, on the farm front, let's take a look over here real quick. I haven't done a whole lot over here. I put some regular dirt down with water in the middle to grow some wheat so I can get more seeds. And I doubled, I think, uh, the amount of fertilized dirt, but I discovered that it still needs water. Uh, just like the regular dirt does. Um, and that's where all these little effects are coming from. The uh, bone mealing effect. Which fertilized dirt randomly does. Uh, down here, I've also been working on this. And I've cleared out a lot of the metal that was in here. So that most of it is iron. And we'll just take a quick peek in here real quick. 333 blocks of iron. <laughs> a little insane. Uh, it really is. Uh, also, also, over here, I've set up a network receiver, and I put an interface on top of it. Uh, and with the interface, I've got the alloy smelters all configured uh, so that they are pushing and pulling from the interface. And on the interface itself, I have it set so that it'll automatically do Eulorium and Quartz and Rich Dust. And you just saw one pop in there. And output uh, the ingot. So it's, it's coming along. I also went ahead and set in uh, receivers in here just for whenever I get around to it. <laughs> uh, just harvested some of the sugar cane. Nothing really going on there. Uh, over here, we are doing just fine. Uh, we have plenty of energy. I also have it set up so that it automatically shuts off so it's not burning as much fuel. And the way I did that is right back here. Redstone, uh, reactor redstone ports. All right. This one, uh, the output energy amount percentage active while below 90%. And then I clicked commit, came over to this one, and toggled so that it would set from signal, and then hit commit. And that's it. You just do that and run the redstone between the two of them, which dust, eh, it's a little ugly. I'll probably upgrade that whenever I uh, upgrade the reactor to its full size. Uh, I'll probably use the redstone pipe. I think is what it's called. It's a lot cleaner looking. But anyway, we are going to uh, start work on the squid farm today. Uh, oh yeah, I also put in more of these. And I made a few more crafters. And I will get into exactly what those do. Uh, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you now. I'll go ahead and show you now. Alright, you know the pattern grid. You're familiar with that. You make the pattern for something... And like three iron and another quartz will make quartz enriched iron. Click the create pattern and it makes a pattern. All right, which is these guys right here. Uh, let me see here, where is it? This guy, okay. Pattern, quartz enriched iron. So you make all your patterns and you throw them in this crafter. And then uh, let me come over here. And say I want to make a, another 64k drive, and I don't have any. I can just click craft, select one, start, and it tells me 
what I'm missing in order to actually make it. I'm missing quite a bit of silicone and I'm missing some basic processors. But uh, that's all it is. It's just like the old applied energistic system as far as that goes. Only these guys right here, they do it themselves. And well, while these are running, you can come over here and see what stage it's on. Uh, it, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic. It goes pretty quick. I have no idea what this smiley cloud is. I have a ton of them. I put one on the ground, right clicked it, and I named it. Uh, so, <laughs> whatever, it's there. All right, uh, let's see here. I wanted to see about first uh, at refine. Okay, what is the what are they called again? Okay, network. Uh, okay, I don't have any. Thought I did. I don't. Okay, and I don't think I have. The you know what? I know I don't have the materials for it. Um, let me see here. What is actually? I might. I might. I. I'm sorry. I'm going back and forth. I know. Uh, let me make up two of these. Okay. Uh, transmitter. What am I missing? Okay. I'm missing the red one. So we will go ahead and. Oh crap. I'm missing basic processors. Uh, basic processor. I need printed silicon, redstone, and okay. Uh, come on. Printed, did, printed. Did. Okay, there we go. There's that, and I need that. And now I need some redstone. All right, let's throw these guys in here. Oh, there's two right there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's make some up. <laughs> I was already making some. I forgot. All right. We'll let that run for a second. We'll throw that back in there. All right. Let's try this again. I need uh these guys to make that. And I have two of them. So one, two. Oh no, I only had one. Uh, wait a minute. I thought I put two in there. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. And this one is the transmitter. So we'll make a transmitter. And now we need a receiver. So there we go. Receiver. Transmitter. Okay. I also need a network card. All right. Network card. Transmitter. Receiver and network card. Okay, I also need um, importer. Uh, I need another destruction core, which, aha, <laughs> there we go. Let's make another one of them, or a few. There we go. All right, uh, importer. All right. Now, I also wanted let's see here the irons no yes no I can't decide uh, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do it uh, okay so I need to make some iron swords I think let's see here uh, more than plenty a uh, little more than I wanted but that's okay because I'm probably going to make some more of these. Uh, let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That should be good. I think. I think. We'll see. Uh, all right. So we got that. I need water buckets. Uh, let me grab... Oh... Uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Uh, which actually that might be too much. Yeah, that probably is. We'll just do that. Um, 
And even that's probably too much for what I'm about to do. I also, okay, since these will also drop mob XP. Let's see here, experience. Experience obelisk. Stores experience, can output liquid XP. And advanced experienced sauce driver? I don't know what that is. Uh, experience bank. Well, let's see about this. Can I make this? Experience rod. I need solarium, and I don't think I have any. Oh, I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, um, energetic alloy is redstone, gold, and glowstone. All right. We will get some redstone. Uh, some glowstone. And some gold. Okay. That way we can make plenty of energetic alloy. We'll just come down to our alloy smelters. Uh, right over here. And boom. Get to work. Awesome. While that's working, let me see about solarium. How do I make solarium? Uh, I need soul sand and gold. Alright, I think I've been getting soul sand from the loot bags. And I have. Ooh. Alright, so we'll take a stack of that. And a stack of gold. Alright. And we will go down to the smelters again. And boom boom. Uh oh. I missed. That's okay. Up, up, up. There we go. Now. Now I can make this. No, I can't. I need one more. Should be made by now. Yep, there we go. Alright, so we got that. And now, okay, I'm going to need a machine chassis. Oh, look, I have all the materials. Awesome. Alright, do I have enough solarium now? Yes, awesome. Experience obelisk. So now I'll be able to collect the experience. Uh, well, I say collect. Is there like a vacuum type deal? Heat collector, range collector, fluid collector. These are bird houses. Now, that's not what I want. What about a vacuum? XP vacuum. That's what I want. All right. Another experience rod and a pulsating crystal. Okay, well, let's make one of these real quick. All right. Uh, pulsating crystal. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Um, what is it? It's pulsating iron. All right. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I do have some. I have a lot. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and take those two. Now we can make up two of these. Because we'll probably need another one later for something else. And that's just regular iron. There we go. So now I've got an XP vacuum, an experience obelisk, an advanced item collector, a chest, network receiver, spikes. It looks like I've got everything almost I still need uh, I think I'll use dirt that should be sufficient right there all right here we go okay we are going to come right down here down the hole look at this <laughs> I really I want to get this done because I want to continue making my elevator blocks so that I don't have to use this ladder anymore. This ladder is such a pain in the butt. I hate it. Okay. Let us start. Uh, actually. Yeah, we're going to start with this. And we're going to... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... That should be more than big enough. Alright, and I'm going to bring that up like so. 
I'm going to stick some slabs right around it like this. Uh, actually, I want to put these bottom slab because I don't want anything spawning on it. Ow! That hurt. Holy crap, that hurt. Oh. Okay. I'm going to put this around it so that I don't walk into those again. Crap! <laughs> that was not cool. Okay, here we go. Alright, so that's good. That's set up now. Let me take out this. And that. Alright. Now, 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 now. Let me... XP vacuum. Uh, I forgot to set the transmitter up there. That's fine. Uh, XP vacuum... I think I can put right here in the middle like so uh, let me throw down a dirt block so I can get up here and where's my obelisk alright and we'll slap that guy right on top configure uh, we will pull from there awesome does this have any configuration no okay so this guy will store XP and I can just boom put all my levels in there there we go and it will also store the XP that's collected from the farm and it's gonna suck it right on in okay let me see here. let us now uh, you know what for the item collector I think I can get away with doing something like this. Uh, got my chest. I can put it pretty much right next to this. And the range on this thing is more than sufficient. But we'll go ahead and kick it up anyway. Uh, so now it's collecting items all around. What, Ten blocks all around it. In every direction. Okay, we do not need it right there. I want to put it in the middle all right and we will take this right on up to the top and see how it plays out <laughs> all right this is the slow and tedious part uh, have, oh my god I've got so far to go hey look a slime I didn't know that slimes were spawning down here. Okay. Uh, how much further? I should be close. Oh, yeah. Okay. That works. Alright. Now, we're going to put down a couple of temporary blocks. Oh, I can't reach it. Um, oh. That might be too high. Okay, there we go. Alright, so in order to do this, I need to take this down by one. And one. Okay, so that's right over the obelisk. And then here is one, two, and three. Alright. So, okay, and then that's in one direction, and that's in the other. And these are where my spikes are. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright. So, I need to make the border like that. Is that right? Uh, yes. Alright, so we'll come out like that. One more. There we go, and then across. It's not on it. Okay, yeah, good. And let's see, that's one, two, three. I'm sorry it's so dark up here. There's four, and we'll take this right back on around. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, and then it meets up. And now I can take out these two. All right. So now I've got my floating water. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stand back, take that out, 
vein miner that. There we go. Nice quick cleanup. And back up a little bit. There we go. And now I'm on top. Where are my water buckets? All right, we got one there and one there. Okay, it's missing the middle. Uh, should I put one here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's taken care of. And now I just do the other side. Hold down shift, don't fall off. There's one, there's one, and there's one. All right, awesome. So now I should be getting squid. Let me take out some of these real quick. Uh, I don't see any yet. Huh, because when I water down in the deep ocean biome that I'm in right now, I got squid spawning right above me and falling down on me. It was kind of irritating. Oh, there we go. We are getting squid. Awesome. It is working already. <laughs> oh, perfect. And they're not even hitting the damn spikes. They're dying on the slabs. Look at that. He fell out. He died on the obelisk. Uh... So yeah, the obelisk isn't getting very much in the way of XP. I guess if any of them land in the middle, that'll work. So this isn't really working for collecting XP, but it is a place for me to store XP at least. So when I get XP doing other things, I've got that. Now, oh look at this. I've already got almost an entire stack. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, let us do this. I need the receiver, the network card, and the transmitter. Alright, I want to put the receiver on the back side here. I'm going to tap that with the network card. And then I'm going to run up to the top. Oh, let me put that ink sack in here. Oh, look at that. Stack and a half. Oh, this is perfect. I'm going to get my elevator done. <laughs> Awesome, okay, so I'm gonna run up to the top real quick and I'll bring, bring you guys right back. All right, here we go. Back up top, I'm gonna slap this guy down right back here. Insert the card, 74 blocks away. It has found it. Let us check this real quick. Uh, ink. Uh-oh. Where are, oh, that was stupid of me. Okay, um, let me grab a uh, cable. I already know what I did wrong. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, I just put it next to the uh, chest. I didn't actually connect it to the chest. Holy crap, that's a big slime. All right, we're gonna kind of fall a little bit here. There we go, slime boots. There we go. Made the trip a little bit faster. Where'd the slime go? I guess he jumped off the edge. Alright, importer. And we're going to run the importer right in there. And boom. Uh, no, I did that backwards again. I did this over on the, um, uh, the forge as well. There we go. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to have to put uh, speed upgrades in there because they're falling faster and it's sucking them out. All right, but there we go. Uh, squid farm is done. And I've got spiders up there. Why? I thought that was... Oh, it's a top slab. That's right. I need to put torches up there. Oh... Okay, okay, I see how it is. All right, well, I'm gonna take care of the torches, uh, lighting up that ring up there so that I don't get any more spawns up there. And I'm going to make some speed upgrades for this uh, so that this guy can actually keep up <laughs> with all these drops. Holy crap. Uh, 
And that's going to do it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.